In this video, we will be highlighting 5 key things that you should take note on when reading a fun fact sheet. Before we begin, our channel is all about money and self-development tips. So if you haven't joined the family yet, remember to hit that subscribe button down below and let's get this started. is an overview or a summary of a unit trust fund and any investor out there should read the fun fact sheet first before deciding to invest because you will want to know what is that particular fund about, what is the past performance and what are the fees involved. The fun fact sheet is usually made in a way where it is simple and easy to understand. So in the following video, we will highlight the five things that we typically will take note of when reading the fun fact sheet. Number one, asset allocation. This section highlights the segment that is involved in an investment, like technology, consumer products, or banking. And they will also let you know what is the weight of investment that the fund manager put in for each segment. For example, like out of 30% of the fund could be allocated to technology-related companies. By investing in various industries, it will help minimize the risk for investors in case if any of the sectors face a crisis. For example, the tourism industries face a negative impact when the pandemic hits in 2020, but positively impacted the healthcare industry like glove industries. Number two, top holdings. This section shows us the top five to 10 companies that the fund manager has chosen to allocate our investment in. This will give you, the investor, a better visual of how your fund would perform based on your confidence in that particular company that you see on the list. However, do take note that the list may change from time to time. It all depends on the fund manager's strategy, as their main goal is to help you, the investor, to grow your money. So they may not necessarily keep investing in the same company if they think that it may not have the expected returns that they expect. Number three, fees and charges. Another part that I would definitely take note of is the fees and charges. Every fund would have this column. The common fees and charges would be the annual management fees, trustee fees, trustee fees, sales charge, switching fees, and so on. Annual management and trustee fees are generally ranging around from 0.5% to 2%, and they are usually already deducted from the NAV which is net asset value. So when we are viewing the fund price, it is already after deducting the annual management fees and trustee fees. As for the sales charge, it is not pre-deducted from the fund price. You will have to take account for it when investing. For example, you are planning to invest 10,000 ringgit in an equity fund with a sales charge of 5%. So only 9,500 would be invested into that equity fund because 500 ringgit will be treated as sales charge. So don't be shocked or surprised to see negative return when you just started investing into that fund. It's actually just because of the sales charges. Number four, performance. Of course, before we invest in anything, we look at the past performance of the fund. Unless it is a new fund, then we wouldn't have that data. But if it's a fund that has been launched for more than one year, you would be able to see the returns that has been accumulated in a month, six months, 12 months, and etc. So the return stated under the one month column is to state that on average, investors who have invested in this fund for one month are earning an average of this amount of return. Number five, dividend. This may not be a key factor for many people, but it is something that I would tend to look into in a fun fact sheet. If a fund has regular dividend payout, it creates an impression of stability and the return at least is not solely depending on its volatility especially for conservative investors, where they prefer a stable return with not much volatility to its capital invested. Thank you for watching our video so far. If you are starting out on investing, you can check out our video on investing for beginners right here. So if you like our video so far, remember to give us a big thumbs up. If you have not followed us on Instagram, do check out our Instagram page, The Financial Fitness Channel. And if you have not subscribed to our <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Basically, what she wants to say is if you have a follow on our YouTube channel, just hit the subscribe button down below and we will see you next time. Bye! No! Okay, that's it. We're